Hi, I'm Dave, founder of Halloween Year Round, and uh, we're here today to talk about the latest sci-fi original movie, Letters to Satan Claus. It's, uh, it's something. So, brief little backstory. I'm not the biggest fan of sci-fi channel original movies, and I, I know that, you know, who is? You know, I get, you know, they're, they're kind of meant to be terrible, but what I mean by that is I actually really don't like the Sharknado series. I know that's like their crown jewel. It, it became, it started as a joke and sort of turned into its own franchise. I always felt like with that, the movie was too aware of how terrible it was. You know, it was trying to be something like a bird demic or something like The Room. But what what those movies had was a charm that they didn't know they were bad. They were trying to be good and they were terrible. And that's where the humor came from. Sharknado, I felt like it's it's too... It winks at the camera too much. It, it knows how bad it is. And there's just, there's no real creativity. Letters to Satan Claus, I feel like they get away with it because... It's almost a parody of a whole other genre that's already cheesy, and they just kind of run with it. So, uh, the best way for me to describe this movie is, it is the perfect troll of the Hallmark Channel movie. So you start off, it's Christmas time, you know, the kids are writing letters to Santa, and you know, the little girl... You know, she doesn't like Christmas. She didn't get what she wanted. And, you know, she writes a letter to Satan instead, misspell. I have always said that those names are too close and that it would lead to problems. Anyway, fast forward, you know, she's an adult. And the whole setup just feels like a Hallmark movie. You know, she's the, the workaholic journalist, you know, who doesn't have time for a relationship or a marriage. And, you know, she doesn't like Christmas and, you know... Her station is sending her back to her hometown where, oh, she's running into this very attractive, generic white guy who's going to, you know, solve all her problems by, you know, being in a relationship with her. It starts off as that, and it knows that that's what it wants to parody, and I, I feel like the whole first act, it's even more kind of over the top and, and, and... What's, what's the word? It's more overtly tacky and campy because it's trying to make fun of those movies. It, it knows that this is the expectation. It kind of draws you in with it. And then it just gives you Satan Claus, which... So it turns out... Oh, and I'm, I'm going to get into spoilers um, because, it, let's be honest, who cares? You know, watch it or don't watch it. But... Uh, <laughs> So, Satan Claus, they're not really clear if he's supposed to be Satan himself or if he is like a special other character or if maybe he's just a version of Krampus. I really enjoyed him. He's, he's not on screen all that much, but when he is, you know, I love the makeup effects and they almost play him. He reminded me of Martin Short. Just his, his sort of wacky, physical, over-the-top, ridiculous style of comedy. He, he felt like a slapstick comedian. And in a movie like this, it just, it sort of worked, you know? And, and, he's, and he's killing people and, and leaving their body parts as Christmas presents, which, you know, I, I just, I think back to that scene in, uh, in Nightmare Before Christmas where that kid, you know, opens up the box and it's a head. And then... I love how they even, like, it it, ta it takes itself seriously when it needs to, but at other times it knows how dumb it is and just has fun with it. Like when uh, the main character and, and, and this other character, you know, they feel they're like, wait a minute, I have an idea. You wrote a letter to Satan by mistake. What if we just write a letter to Santa? That will fix everything. And they almost make you think that, like, Santa's going to show up and fight Satan Claus in, like, an epic battle similar to the 
Santa Krampus fight in Christmas Horror Story? No, no, Santa, <laughs> Santa, he writes a letter back to them. Like, that's this, and it's not even, it's like a riddle. Like, Santa's not even like, hey, here's what you gotta do. Santa is like such a dick that he writes them a riddle they have to figure out to stop Satan Claus because apparently stop, like that's not a top priority for Santa to do. It's it's like it's like he's back at the North Pole. He's like, all right, uh, we got the toys, got the list. Okay, what what's this? Uh, it's a letter from uh, some people who accidentally released Satan Claus. I don't have time for this. Give them the riddle we give to everyone. It was probably like a like a template email or something. Probably probably at the top it didn't even have her name. It probably just said like insert name here. But uh, I just. <laughs> It was the little things like that that just, it made this a fun watch. It's not a good movie, but it was never trying to be. It was the type of movie that I, I thought I was going to have another Sharknado. And it actually, it felt like out of all the, you know, dumb, low budget stuff that, you know, streaming services and TV channels put out. This felt like, who you know, whoever was behind making it said, you know what? We're actually going to do some clever stuff here and there and have fun with it. So I enjoyed it. It, it made for a very entertaining uh, Christmas watch. And, you know, it's something that will probably very easily fly under the radar. So, you know, that's why I, I wanted to do a video about it. Just to kind of spread the word and, and, and let everyone know that, uh, you know, if you're tired of writing to Santa Claus... You can always write to Satan Claus. Uh, so, on that note, I'll I'll sign off. Uh, we are gonna do a couple more videos in the next week uh, for Christmas. Be on the lookout for those. Uh, as always, you can check out the website HalloweenYearRound.com. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and uh, of course, all the normal YouTube stuff you know, like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you fail to do any of those, Satan Claus will come for you. And until I see you again, remember, for this month only, every day is Christmas, and for the rest of our lives, every day is Halloween.